Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. This should be the game's final part. This is it, guys. I've pretty much cleared everything out that I can possibly do in this house, except for the gold mouse in the uh, sealed room there, but that one's just plain annoying to get. Because if you miss it, you have to go back up to uh, that room over and over and over and over again until you do. And that is easily... Oh, get that heart if you want to before the Boo ba final battle with King Boo there. Uh, but I already recovered my health to full, just to make sure I have enough health for this. And this is the door that we have to go through. This is the new area. Just This is just a pretty simple hallway. You just go forward. And that's really all there is to this. There's nothing else, it's just another hallway. And, of course, another thorny, electrified door. Here we go! You'll notice that the handle and everything about that doorknob is different, by the way. Anyway, this is the last area of the game here. Um, there is some stuff for you to find in here. So uh, before you do the final boss battle here, make sure you clear it out. Otherwise, you won't have another shot at getting it. Um, I should also make sure to check my camera's battery life here. Um, in the chandelier should be a jewel here, a sapphire to be exact. Um, if you don't realize, there's Mario in the painting over there. And this lion head over here is where I peeped out from. Okay, I just wanted to check the battery life there. The battery life it mm -hmm. does seem to be okay. Um, you know what? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause it and put the camcorder on. Uh, because I can't redo this boss battle if I uh, if the camcorder stops recording in the middle of it. So I'm just going to put it onto a uh, charger. Hold on. Okay, I feel a lot better now. Because I know the other mm -hmm. camera will be just fine. But anyway, once you're ready, approach King Boo here. And let it start. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't exactly say that uh, Mario is quite the art form, but he is one, you know, like one of the few live paintings out there, so to speak. And uh, yeah, <laughs> gullible soup. Basically, uh, yeah, he, he organized this contest here to capture Mario, basically, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he only fears the Poltergust 3000, but he shall fear it no more. Well, until, you know, I start sucking him into it. And what the heck, it's Bowser. What? What are you doing here? Hey, don't suck me in there. I don't want to be in your bowels. Woo! And the final boss battle starts here. It looks like Bowser, but it's actually King Boo in a Bowser suit of sorts. Anyway, what you want to do is wait for him to throw out some balls, these spiky balls here. He'll bowl them towards you like that, and then, and then he'll come and charge towards you like that to do a fire attack. And then when his head is down like that, what you want to do is... Ooh, don't get sucked into that, you'll take some damage. What you want to do is, when you ducks his head down like that to shoot all his fire towards you, release the spike ball towards his head, and then shoot it right, just like this, watch, Woo! and his head will come right off. Um, then all you have to do is suck in King Boo there, just like a regular Boo, but he's got some added support there in the form of that guy right there, that Bowser head there, yeah! That's kind of a problem there, but it, it doesn't really get in your way that much, as you can see by how easily 
I was able to dodge its ice attacks, but it does get more aggressive as we go. Needless to say, as it takes more damage. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Must get ball. No, 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 no. Oh, that was a close one. Really close one. Um, try not to let Bowser back you up in a corner like that. Um, because basically, if you... I mean, I should say, when you, when you, when Bowser starts attacking you, he, he not... He doesn't attack you just once. His attacks are usually a chain of attacks that do a lot of damage to you in total. Uh, it's probably the hardest boss in the game. Uh, well, it's rightfully so. I mean, it's the final boss of the game. Uh, but it's still not all that hard. It's actually quite manageable. So, let's just get our spike ball and blow his head right off again. Woo! Oh, I took damage from the explosion. That's okay. I, all I need is big king, the king boo over here anyway. And I lost my gold frame chance, but eh, yeah, that's okay. Down to 42 HP. This game is coming to... Oh, shoot, I forgot about this. When its head goes on, in, on backwards, go into a corner immediately. That's like your only safe spot as he's bouncing around the room randomly. Well, or bouncing off the walls like that. And it'll also break those pots, or I should say those, uh... uh pillars that are sitting around there in the middle, which helps quite a lot when it comes to uh, dodging his attacks. This is it. This should be it. A little more. A little more. A little more. Yeah! Game over! Woo! And you also get his crown, which is also a treasure. That happens to be another pink uh, diamond, which is yet another joke item. It's, it's worth the same amount as that uh, pink diamond that you've got on the balcony, which is 5,000 as much as a coin. So again, joke item, yeah. <laughs> but it is, but a treasure is a treasure, I guess. Every penny counts. Oh, thank you, Egad. Hopefully, we'll be able to restore my brother Mario. Oh, I hope he'll be okay. Oh, well, looks like Egad here has been at it for quite a while here. And uh, yeah, he can definitely talk, that's for sure. Almost as much as me. So, uh, yeah, Mario's pretty relieved that we saved him, and he is sleeping now, evidently. So let's just pull off his portrait off the wall and take him over to Egad. E. Oh, yeah. Yay! And, uh, did, did, he, did you hear that? All my hard work lasted only a single night. Well, which actually makes a lot of sense, because that, um, this game can easily be beaten within a day. But it, it of course, took me a couple days, because I had, with the, had to manage the editing and stuff like that of these, uh, videos. So it, it took me four days, actually. I've, uh, worked on each day, I mean, excuse me, each area each day, like, uh, one area a day, that's what I'm trying to say. God, why can't I talk today? Jeez. Anyway, this is the last one. Well, I should say the last portraits forming sequence here. And I don't know why he repeats himself, but this cutscene does change slightly. Because as you can see, the boss ghost uh, of the picture frame there changes. Um, you know, th this brings up a good point. Where did all the other ghosts in my poltergust go? I sucked up a ton of boo as well as other like regular ghosts so where did they go did they were they used to power the machine or something like that I have no idea anyway yeah that's really the end of the game it's pretty awesome if you don't have this game I highly recommend that you check it out oh there's a little bit more to the cutscene here first we're gonna go to the totals hopefully I got the a rank but I'm almost positive I did I mean I looted the heck out of this house, this entire walkthrough, as well as getting all the optional as, as well as um, major portrait ghosts, and uh, there we go, 23 ghosts just as I said, and here comes the totals, get ready to see those pink uh, diamonds in the total here, it's hilarious, so uh, just, oh I'm so, I, I believe there's like, 10 sapphires and 10 emeralds and 10 rubies, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. See that? Two pink diamonds worth 10,000. Grand total, 119 million! Holy cow! That's my best score ever. Oh! 
That is awesome. Yeah, I, I kind of overdid the looting there. As I said before, the highest you can get is like 143 million or something like that. And uh, definitely save that. That is, I mean, that was the greatest run, run I've ever had. Not only did I not die a single time, but everything just went so great. Uh, except for a couple blue ghosts and that one blue mouse. But otherwise, I think this walkthrough was a complete success in every sense of the word. It was also one of my favorite ones that I did so far. Always fun to be a Ghostbuster. So yeah, Mario is being turned back into human and not paper. Mamma mia. Wasn't that sweet? Luigi was so happy to see his brother again that he cried, and then he laughed at the same time because of his silly look with that vent frame over his neck and head and whatever. So, here is the credits. As I always say, I did not make the game, I just made the walkthrough on it to help people as well as entertain them. And it's also going to be taking me through a little uh, cutscene of sorts of uh, places that I went to in this game. Yeah, as I was saying, this walkthrough was really fun to do. Oh my god, Rosie O'Donnell! Except for that. That was horrible. That was horrible. <sighs> okay, it's over, it's over. Oh, yeah, as I was saying, this was definitely one of the more fun ones that I've done. And it was a really big, ex well, I shouldn't say it was a big exploration quest, but there's a lot of, like, little things that you have to search in order to get a load of cash. So... That was really fun to do. Uh, it, it looked like it was tedious, but it's always cool finding uh, new stuff like uh, gems and paper money. No, it's, I, I call it bills now, but the reason why I called it paper money before is because, you know, when when you look at any, like, I mean, if you look at the money itself, there really isn't anything written on it. It just has, like, a couple G's on it, and that's it. Like, coins are the Mushroom Kingdom's currency, so what are the bills? Like, everyone paid with, thing, paid, uh, with things with their coins, so what would that be like? The paper form of those coins? That's why I call them paper money, so to speak. Because I just couldn't figure out the name of them, or, or I knew the name of them. I, I should say, I didn't know the name of them. Dang it, why can't I talk? I forgot how to talk. I guess I'm just so flabbergasted at this walkthrough. Um, and after you beat the game, there is going to be something else that will open up for you called Luigi's Hidden Mansion. This was actually what I was going to do the walkthrough on at first, and uh, uh, I'll explain it later. <laughs> so, basically, he got his paintings returned and he used the treasure I found to build a new house for me. And there is the greatest house that you can possibly get in the game, a rank A house. Beautiful. The end. Yes. Oh, and I'll also, also give you a little tour of the gallery as well. But and anyway, after you beat the game, you unlock Luigi's Hidden Mansion. Now, what that basically is, is it's, it's the exact same game, except your vacuum is more powerful, and the um, ghosts, when you stun them with a the flashlight, stay stunned for about half the time they did before. So, in a way, it's slightly harder, but in another way, it's slightly easier. So let's just go back to here. Uh, well, not, not that, not this one here, but this one here. And uh, now you'll see the option for the hidden mansion there. But I'm going to go to the gallery first off. And now you're going to see over here, this is the house that I got, as well as my highest score total. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, post a video response with your best score. It's mm -hmm. all up to you. And you'll also notice that all these paintings in his gallery are now filled. 
all throughout the gallery. If you'd like to check them out, just mm -hmm. walk up to them and press A. This was the room with King Boo. As I said, this was uh, for the special final boss mm -hmm. ghost of the game. Very special because, you know, it's the last one. The game ends after that. But uh, what doesn't really make sense here is that since you now have the hidden mansion, it's, it's like the game continuously loops over and over and over again because... I mean, think about it. You have to beat the game first to get to the hidden mansion. And after you get to the hidden mansion, that's... Uh, it's the whole game all over again. So doesn't it seem like there's like a time paradox that it just keeps going over and over and over? I mean, unless this like house transformed the house that you got back into... Uh, this manor here, but it doesn't matter what size house you get, it'll still transform into this one here. But anyway, as I said, your vacuum is more powerful, it'll take more HP off the ghosts, but the ghosts will stay, uh, won't be as stunned as long um, with the flashlight. Uh, I'll give that little demonstration that real quick by clicking through here, and then going up to um, the room over, I believe it was the second floor, was the uh, the first room that had the ghost that you could fight, and uh, yeah, I might as well save because this game's over with anyway. It'll save my high score anyway. So over here, I just want the little cutscene to occur so I can demonstrate the new vacuum and its power. As I was saying, I wanted to do a walkthrough of the hidden mansion instead of the regular mansion at first, but uh, as I was starting it, I was... Well, I should say, starting my practice run, I was having such an easy time doing it because I had so much power in my vacuum that it just didn't seem like it would. It, it was worth a walkthrough. Like the first game, the normal mansion seemed like it was harder than the hidden mansion, so I thought it would be more useful to make a walkthrough on the normal mansion because that's likely what people would need more help with anyway. Watch, watch how fast the HP goes down now from these ghosts. So, yeah, that's basically all there is to it, and I'm going to wait for some more ghosts to appear here. Eventually, they're going to... There we go. And Oh, did you see that? How fast they dis that one disappeared with the flashlight? And turn around, and there we go. Look how fast its HP drains now with this new and improved Poltergust 3000 I have here. But otherwise, the hidden mansion is exactly the same as the normal mansion. So, that officially ends this walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next walkthrough, whatever that may be. I haven't really decided yet. Toodaloo!